Hey guys, I'm gonna give you my guide to vibe coding an MVP with Claude Code. You can basically make anything with this. However, I'm gonna be focusing on more of like a SaaS MVP for this video. So the way that this works is we're gonna use, or I have used SQL Lite, right? Which is a kind of database within your server instead of being on a separate server. And that removes the need for Superbase. I'm using Python as a backend, Flask as a front end, and if you don't know, Flask is just basically HTML, CSS, JavaScript. Using Bootstrap, right, which is just a quick way to get um, elements and things like that for MVPs. And then using access codes with invoicing. So I invoice someone $500, they send me $500, and then I give them an access code. If they stop paying $500, I remove their access code. By the time you get to 100 users a month and you're having problems, you, have, you will have enough money to hire a developer to fix them for you. And then the final thing here is feature by feature building. Now, these are all alternatives if you think about it to the following stack, which everybody uses, Superbase, and of course, the infamous Stripe. I personally don't like coding with either of these two things. It, it, it's very, very difficult for me. I'll probably receive a lot of comments saying, oh, it's easy, blah, blah, blah. It's easy for you, it's not easy for me. I don't think Stripe is user-friendly or developer-friendly whatsoever. So instead, what I'm doing is I'm doing access codes. Now, let me just show you a little bit what this looks like and the project that I've actually made. So if we go here, if I go to uh, disconnect here, you'll see access code. I put my access code and log in. I'm automatically logged into here. This is the system that I've made using step-by-step -step, uh, creation. This is a one-click, right? This isn't released to the public, by the way, or anything like that just yet. I will be releasing at some point. But you can one-click, uh, or you can just turn these automations on, and it will automatically create collections, optimize your products, and also translate any pages that it creates. The idea behind this tool is that anyone with zero experience can come along and do the SEO for their website. So you can see there's three optimized products here. <coughs> if we go on collections, we'll see all of the created collections. You can see they're active. And if we go to multi-language SEO as well, you'll see all of the pages that have been translated and into what language they have been translated. Now, like I said, this is just using an extremely simple system of SQL Lite and access codes. It's such an easy system to implement, right? But the main thing I kind of want to focus on is feature by feature building. So previously what I tried to do, and you know, this might have been my problem the whole time, is I tried to one shot everything and then fix the errors, right? So with one giant prompt. Instead, what I've been doing this time is I've been using Claude code with very, very small prompts, just prompting feature by feature, error by error fix, and Claude Code does this better than anything else. Now, the reason for that is this right here. You can see context left until auto compact 2%. So that means that I'm at like 198,000 or 196,000, whatever, tokens used out of the 200,000 context window, right? So with other coding tools like Claude Desktop, Klein kind of fixes this in a way, but I don't actually like how it fixes it. However, what Claude does is the best. What you can do is, you can see here, I've just been doing feature by feature, step by step fixing, vibe coding. You know, for the last 20 hours, I've been doing the same thing. It could have been in the same conversation. It hasn't been in the same conversation, but it doesn't matter because every time you run slash compact, you'll see what it actually does. So I'll run slash compact here. This will compact all of the last changes that were made and then add this to a new conversation. So this is how I'm building something that is, that is extremely complicated. The other thing that you need to kind of get to grips with in order to build with Claude code is git commits. Git commits are super, super important, right? I will tell you how I do git commits. I commit to a new branch, right? Every time I have a working copy of whatever I'm working on, I can just commit to a new branch. So let's go here. Oops, this is Harbors. 
Um, GitHub. So we'll go income stream server repositories. Shopify AI overlord. <coughs> and then you can see the branches here. So each branch, so this was three hours ago. I now have this ready to go whenever I want, right? So even if I go through a vibe coding session and everything goes wrong, at any time I can grab my code. So git clone this link and then git pull origin, <clears throat> the name of the branch, right? So in this case, sidebar update. And then I have the latest working code in my system ready to code. And I can open it inside Claude code again, a completely fresh conversation, right? And start coding. Now, one thing I do recommend is always run slash compact, even if you're not intending on continuing coding, because what you can do is you can copy this, and I'm actually, this is just a further tip. I'm gonna add this to a notepad here, right? And then next time, tomorrow, when I start coding and I get my code from here, sidebar update, put my code on my system. Before I run Claude code, I can just give it the most recent changes that have been made to the system, right? which would mean that I wouldn't have to worry about whether or not it's going to undo the last changes that were just made, et cetera, et cetera. So this is how you kind of continue the coding system through multiple conversations. You use Git to clone your code here, and then you use Claude code to read the code, get it to tell you what all the code does, and then you can just start building features, and then you, you run slash compact, this is what I've been doing the last few days. And then it compacts it. And then let's say you still need to fix, you fix, you fix. Okay, everything's fixed, amazing. Now we do a commit to a new branch. And then once you've committed to a new branch, you now have stable code. You probably would then run com uh, compact again, right? To get a fresh window, fresh context window. And then you add a new feature, right? add a new feature, add a new feature, and then commit. And then this is the entire process that I have been doing in order to build such a complicated system. And this is a complicated system, trust me. It does a lot of things in such a short amount of time, right? So yeah, I thought I'd just make this video, guys, to show you how I'm building things with Claude Code. A couple of other things is I'm using the $200 max plan, um, 200 a month max plan. I'm mainly using Opus. I'm not using Cursor, Windsurf, anything like that. I use Visual Studio Code to see the terminal logs, although you don't really have to. I just prefer to have the GUI of Visual Studio Code. And yeah, that's pretty much it. That's how I'm building anything that I want, MVP SASs, etc., in a very, very short amount of time. This is pretty much ready to launch, right? And the, the other cool thing is I could use the AWS MCP to launch this, add a domain, I reckon I could have this launched by Monday, right? If I work on this all weekend, I have a feeling that I could release the SEO version of this by Monday. Check out the streams, guys. I'm streaming every single day. Check out the school community. If you haven't, I'll leave a link to it in the description of this video. But people are really, really enjoying the school and it's uh, a really, really good place to learn the kind of things that I'm talking about here. Thanks for watching, guys. If you're watching all the way to the end of the video, you're an absolute legend. I'll see you very, very soon with some more content. Peace out.